Hello everybody and welcome back to the FM24 European Journeyman Save where we are going to be taking on our first league game as NK Domzali manager. Yes, hello fellow managers, welcome back to the save and we are diving in in the deep end in Slovenia to take on Olympia Ljubljana who are one of the bigger clubs in Slovenia. They come from the capital, Ljubljana, and in this save are running away with the league. So this will be pretty difficult. We are going to try and fit the players into the system that we used at Nagy Kaniza and uh, introduce a libero to Slovenia because that would be good fun. We're hit with one major problem. Um, the person that I had picked to play as the libero, which is Nicolo Magahini on loan from Parma, who preferred role at centre-back is a libero, has just picked up a groin injury so he can't play. So not only do we now miss one of our best players, we also miss the one player that I picked to play the key role in the system I want to play, which is an absolute nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. But what we're going to do is we're going to drop Jose Petrusic back there. Uh, Magini is going to come off for Kai Lopez, who we've said is going to not uh, Luziado. For Kai Lopez, who um, we've said is going to get another chance at the club. He was transfer listed when we got here. I think he's looks like he could do a job um so we're gonna see how that goes and then mcgini's gonna come out four because we do have quite an injury problem even though we've got a huge squad so because we don't know too much about it you are training very well but you're not very good hmm so we need someone to replace magahini on the bench now who has had a lot of appearances that i haven't picked Suspended, injured, injured. Slightly injured, it'll be you as a left midfielder. I mean, that's not great, and it's only three subs. I might as well have just picked the person that has been training really well and impressed me, which would be... Oh, Luca Positor on another striker on the bench? No, we do need defensive reinforcements on the bench. So we go with that. A bit of training there coming in use for picking the squad. But first game of the season, playing against Olympia Ljubljana, going with the 4-4-1-1 cultured libero system. We know we've got a good goalkeeper in Radu. Uh, Bukovec, Petrescu, Sipot and Dapo at the back. Toplovic, Chao Lopez in the middle. Obviously Toplovic is normally wants to play attacking midfield, but we're putting Pisek in there behind Hill. Serbek on the right, Marina on the left. Hoping it works. We are playing one of our better players out of position in uh, Luka Toplovic, but I'm hoping as the Valante with roles and freedom to push up he will enjoy it. Now, we could get absolutely smashed playing uh, Olympia Ljubljana. We'll have to wait and see. But that's how we're going into the squad. We've got our one under-21 player in there, which is why... Um, oh, so we've got... Oh, we got, must have two now. No, he is the only one. There we go. So, we've got it in. Someone's getting a squad number. It is Tilan Mesaric. He can have the number 29. But as NK Domzale manager... We're into it. I haven't done the shirts yet. I'll, they'll be ready for the next episode. Don't worry. But, uh, you know, it'll be a new week. It'll, that th This episode's coming out on Friday. The new shirt episode will come out on Monday. So it'll all be good and great. Um, point the finger. Don't let a good run of form come to an end. I'm pretty sure if they had a good run of form, I wouldn't have been appointed manager. So... Uh, we're doing we're on a good run. The pundits might want the fans make us proud. Oh my god, what do I say? Don't I'm just going to say don't let a good run of form come to an end. And we're going to give everybody a big, big dose of encouragement. Into the tunnel we go and we immediately delegate them to our coach. So that's not a problem. Uh, but here we go. First game as NK Domzali manager. Olympia Ljubljana in a 4-2-3-1. Timmy Elznik in the middle is going to be very, very good. We're going to try and kick him off the park. We're in a 4-4-1-1. Uh, it's a system that we know and love from our days in Hungary. So hopefully it can transition here as well. So if we go into the oppositions, uh, Elsnick will get a big kick in. We'll kick both the fullbacks like we normally like to do as well. Why are we not kicking the fullbacks? Kick and kick very hard. And we'll go from there. Oh, it's actually not done what I wanted to do with Elsnick either. So it obviously has completely reset where we've moved teams, which I find very irritating, football manager. It should be saved with the tactic, in my opinion. But anyway, let's see how this unravels to start with. Hopefully two games in this episode. We've got a cup game, I think, after this one coming up. Not quite learnt the schedule yet. But uh, ten minutes in, no shots for anybody. We're holding our own. That's how we're going to describe it. So we'll give them some encouragement. First shot is on target for Olympia, but it's a 0.01 XG. So we're certainly not letting them create very much. And 
that we're not the, the board have already said they're not judging me on anything to do with this season. So the plan is get to the end of the season, cull the squad because it's far too big. Even if there's under 21 players that we think might be half good, we're going to try and get as much money from anybody as we can. And then look to buy players in positions that we want to strengthen. I think that is the plan, to be honest. But as I said, we're not giving away too much at the moment, but we're not creating anything. This was a system I created based around the players we have. Um, we d I do have another system set up. So I'm going to say I'm proud of everyone. Keep going because it's our first game in charge, so keep it positive. Um, I think a system that may suit us better is our one that we actually use on stream called Kalasar Cruising, which again doesn't use counter press, it only uses, no, it uses counter press, not counter, uh, but it does give us a few more options up front and pushes a few more men forward, so it could be a decent one to try and use. Yoset Pisek is not having a great game, so I think we're going to make a change, we're going to bring Zavri on, uh, and Toplovich is going to move into his more favoured position up there. That's the only change we're going to make and we are going to get back into the game. So we're going to try and take the game to Olympia Ljubljana a little bit more. Oh, I need to put a ball in for the league. I've not even done that yet because we've got, we've got the grey ball but we've won it back. Morena, Hill, Hill shoots just past the post. Vid of a sec uh, with a good difference. I'll make sure the ball is fixed for the second game in the episode. Uh, but that is our first shot of the game and it flies past the post. So let's give them some encouragement and uh, we are getting towards the hour mark and this does seem to be giving us a little bit more of a chance generation, but not, um, again, not too much being created by Ljubljana, but I know this is a more attacking system and could leave us a little bit open at the bat as Motika comes forward down the left and it goes to Agba. He does well. The grey ball is very hard to see. I do apologise about that. Lasikas comes down the right, forward into the box. We're trying to stand him up. Jakovic is there. Aldin Yaku Jakupovic uh, does put Olympia Ljubljana 1-0 up and... Yeah, we allowed their fullbacks to push forward. Uh, not ideal. Not ideal. Now we're going to have to try and force the issue here. So let's get you getting kicked hard again. Oh, John Hill not having a good game. Cielsa is our current top goal scorer at the club. So I think we're going to bring on the young Polish striker for him up front. And Moreno not having a good game on the left. So let's bring on uh, Sturm for him. At the moment, it's still a little bit of guesswork because there isn't enough information for us to do anything. Let's bring on the other youngster who's on loan from Palmer as well. As I said, it's just trying to feel out the squad at the moment, isn't it, and see what they can and can't do. But we're having... I think we're having more match momentum with the other system, which we can change back to. These these players all fit in that system as well. Uh, let's get Kai Lopez pushing up as the one pushing forwards, though we don't want a youngster doing that and getting it wrong which could be potential um, and let's just check the opposition stuff yeah, kick him, kick him, mark him hard let's kick the wingers hard as well just to, you know, make sure that they're not getting an easy time of it or anything like that, but the four back to the 4-4-1-1 four, four, one, one, or 4-2-2-1-1 two, two, one, one. but yeah, 15 minutes ago, four shots none on target, which isn't great Let's uh, demand a little bit more from them. I mean, I think a 1-0 loss to the league leaders isn't necessarily dreadful. We haven't, we really haven't restricted them. Uh, we haven't given them a lot of chances. We've actually had the better XG as we get towards the end of the game. And it is a 1-0 loss to start coming in, which actually wins the league for Olympia Ljubljana. How depressing is that? But we are going to keep it positive. So we're going to um, just put our hands in our pocket and just say proud of the efforts. First game in charge. No pressure whatsoever, but we do allow Olympia Ljubljana to win to win the title, which, there we go. Um, the Domzali under-19s win the next-gen Liga, though. So our under-19s our under are looking good. Excellent. We've got this guy who scored nine goals in 21, Marco Castilic. Right, we'll keep an eye on him. Dennis Bresnik scored seven in 12 starts. Again, we'll have to keep an eye, see how they're getting on. But uh, Petrusic set for pay rise, Olympia Crown champions, and uh, that guy becomes the player 
of the week. So we've played an extra game over Radamilge and Merger. Neither of them can... I mean, Radamilge might catch us, but that's okay. Uh, we're still only three points off Alumni, so we're not completely out of the European race yet. We'll keep an eye on that one as well. Uh, next game coming up... Oh, it's not in the Cup. It is in the League. Tabor Cezana will play them. I'm going to go and change the game file so that we have a ball for the next game. See you in a bit. Okay, here we are for the second game of the episode, taking on last place Tabor Cezana, who I don't think are relegated, but could potentially get relegated in this game. Um, which makes it an interesting point, is that our first two games as M came to entirely manager have secured the league title for Olympia and could secure relegation for Tabor Cezana. But I do think results have to go very much against them and everything else to, for that to happen. But they look pretty crap, picking up three wins um, all season, 19 losses with a minus 27 goal difference. So I'm hoping that we can turn it around. And encouragingly, Niccolo Magahini is back. So we brought on Ziga Zavrel onto the bench, but Magahini is now going to come in uh, at the back. And he's going to replace Kai Lopez. And then we swap those two over so that Petrusic goes back into midfield. And we're going to go with the 4-4-1-1 again. I'm quite tempted, actually, to start Toplovic here and see yeah let's do that we'll give Lopez another start see what he can do we'll put Toplovic up there that's not a problem uh, opposition instruction wise they're looking like they're going to line up in a 4-2-3-1 as well I'm going to have to do all of this in the off season or something next time so that it remembers what I want to do with certain positions but uh yeah we'll, we'll just crack into the game in just a second as I said this is just going to get to the end of the season we're not being judged on this my my main thing I want to do is sort out this squad. That is too many players. Um, and we're going to have a bunch more under-19s that are promoted because they're too old to stay in the under-19s. So, yeah, we need to we need to thin this squad out, to be honest, and uh, and see, well, see where we get to. Um, and I'll try and shortlist a few players with data and see who we can bring in uh, and go through that process again because that's a good, fun process. Um, they've lost... All of their last eight league games go and pile on the misery. And I've got faith. I've got faith. I've got faith. Whilst pointing a finger. Um, get out there. Go and get this win. First game at home as the new manager. So I'm hoping that we can make something good happen here. Now we could go up to positive. I think we will start on positive and try and take the game to them a little bit earlier. Now we are using a possession strong system this is us trying to control possession and make something work Toplovic with a corner is going to swing this one in you can see I'll fix the ball we've got a match day ball now Marina on it Marina shoots over the bar Onodi didn't have to make a save for that one but uh, yeah got to get used to these players so Marina was our left winger there having a shot four shots none on target at the moment 20 minutes in uh, let's demand a little bit more of them. Radu is currently our best rated player on a 7.1. They've had two shots, two on target. We haven't had any. Let's work the ball into the box and see if we can create some better goal scoring opportunities for us. But at the moment, yeah, we've got one on target now. We didn't see it. Here's Dapo into Petusic over the top looking for Hill, but he couldn't get there. Onodi just goes long where that one booms it down into our half. Sipot lets it bounce a couple of times, takes it over into Petusic. You can see we've got a good amount of attacking talent on the well, attacking players. I shouldn't say talent. I don't know how good they are. Kai Lopez comes forward. He's got a runner in behind. Toplovic is pulling off towards the back post. Serbic goes down towards the byline. Low crossing. Toplovic is there. Luka Toplovic gets the goal. 1 0 Domzale. Our first goal is scored by our key player. Um, and that is absolutely lovely. The home fans go crazy for this. Uh, Serbic did really well. It's actually just poor marking. Toplovic sort of comes in behind the centre-back who's too busy marking the striker and uh, Toplovic is not going to miss from there. 1-0 up. All we want is that first three points on the board which would be absolutely lovely. Ball in from Marina. Dapo at the back post. Hits the post bouncing around and we can't get the finishing product on it as uh, Hill takes it over. Back to Dapo again. I think this is just going to fizzle out but Oh, we hit the post, and uh, we are beating the lowest-ranked team in the Slovenian Premier League in Tabor Sazana. Struggling this season, but we are piling on the pressure. Magini, ball through. Kai Lopez! Oh, it was a lovely ball through from the libero of Magini, but uh, he just couldn't get the last final touch. They are playing with 
two inverted fullbacks and two centre backs. So they're basically playing with four centre backs on the pitch. And Hill has turned and got into space. Hill shoots, so it's a good save. And uh, we're turning on the pressure now, trying to get that second goal as Dapo has the corner. What can he do here? Dapo swings it in, looking for Magini, but couldn't find him. Serbeck in its half time. Domzale with a 1 0 lead, uh, pretty much dominating the game, to be honest. So I'm going to say I'm happy with how we've dominated it. Let's get back out there and carry this on because we're in. We're playing well. We are playing very well. I know they're not a great team, but we are playing pretty well. I want to see if how this is looking for our league. McGinney in Hill is there. I think he's going to be offside. I think he was just a bit offside as McGinney headed the ball. It's being checked by VAR. And it is offside. Yeah, it did look offside. We'll see the replay. But that would have given us a nice little cushion there. Ah, oh, yeah, he's well off. Absolutely well off from McGinney's header. Which is a very clever header back across from uh, McGinney. But with an hour gone... Um, I think we're going to take... How's Kai Lopez? Let's take... I'm going to risk something here. Kai Lopez off. We're going to drop Jon Hill back here for his runs forward. Lopez off for Cielsa, the, the Polish striker again. Uh, John Hill, 6.6. .6. We'll give him a little bit of time as the Valante. Maybe Bukovic off as well for Tilem Masaryk. Just to try and give a few different people run outs. I know it's only a 1-0 lead. I shouldn't be experimenting too much. But uh, I do want to... See how we get on. Topolovic, free kick from deep. In it goes. Sipot will keep it alive. Masaric, back to Sipot. And uh, what can he do here? Back to Dapo. Look how defensive Cesar Turbana are. Masaric, over the top, looking for Marina, but it's headed down. Dapo can't get that. Sipot will keep the ball in play. And we're starting from the back. Dapo comes forward with it. Back to Sipot. Sipot into Petrusic. Petrusic all the way back to Radu in goal. Out to Dapo. You can see Magini here is the libero. They are man-marking him, which is odd. Uh, Hill. Out it goes to Serbec. Serbec on the right-hand side comes forward. Can he swing in across? He can. Topolovic is there. It's another goal for Luka Topolovic. Really good, patient play. And Serbec did well really down uh, this right-hand side. And I'm very excited there. Now, I have got my eyes on Pedarsen to bring him on the left-hand side. But he's waiting to see what other options he gets at the end of his contract. That's a great ball in. A great header as well. 2-0. That is very nice indeed. We'll give him a bit of praise as uh, Dimentrico comes forward. Long ball that Masaric is there. Not great heading from the uh, fullback that we've brought on. In it goes to Brunek. He looks offside, but I'm not sure. That was Masaric's fault. He's a young right back that we've brought on um, at 1-0. And it is offside. It is offside. Okay, it looked very close. It looked a lot closer than our disallowed goal. Yeah, Misaric's poor header. Leonardo picked up. Brunich was there. Oh, just the wrong side of the defender. We'll argue it's a very good defensive uh, offside trap that we've played there. That's what we'll argue. Right, 6.6 .6 for John Hill. He's not improved, so he can come off and be replaced by... Hmm, what do I want? Now, I could put Magini in there and bring on Lucas Hemp. I have no idea how good Lucas Hemp is. If I was to take... Magini off. It doesn't even recommend any of them to go centre back. Okay, so keep you two as you are. Uh, Jean Hill will risk for Smindorovac because he's got a better name. And we will push Magini up there. Petrusic can go into this role. Um I don't I don't think I want you to be the Libero. You more want to be a fullback and you're five foot nine. So I'm just gonna um undo all of this uh, like that. What Lucas Hempt? You are 22 years old. You've played 48 times for us. That's a bit. That's given me a bit more of a good feeling. So Lucas Hemt on for Hill. Uh, Magini up there. Petrusic over there. And we'll move Sipot into the libero role. And Marina on the left-hand side. Let's give Vid Stefanak a run uh, and see how he does. A few, as I said, playing around, trying to see how people get on. Um, it will be next season from pre-season onwards where we really go seriously with a squad that we've assembled, hopefully, as best we can over the uh, the summer period, over the transfer window. But uh, um, it looks like we're going to be picking up our first three points, which is which is good, right? We can't be arguing and moaning about that. Can we look at the league table? Yes, we can. So it does move us up to sixth, two points 
um, off Cooper, who are winning, who obviously turned us down for a job, as Toplovic looking for a hat-trick. Free kick from deep, good save from Anadi. Stops our star man getting his hat-trick, and uh, he will now be taking the corner. He looks like an absolute giant, so I sort of might remove him off corners for the, for the remaining games. That's not a good pass. Cleared away, though, as uh, Petrusic is there to keep it alive. But with a couple of minutes to go, it's an absolute walloping of the team at the bottom of the table. Six shots on target, 16 shots overall, an XG of two. And uh, Luka Toplovic got us two goals. So we get our first three points as NK Domzale manager. And, uh, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm using Domzale as a stepping stone to hopefully get the Maribor job because I love NK Maribor. But we'll see. We still need to win a league title before we can access the leagues above in the next phase of this European journeyman save because that is going to be very, very interesting when we need to do that. So Serbec was on form. He got both assists, Mark Serbec. So he looks like he's going to be pretty crucial to how we play. His contract um, expires in 2030. So he's got another season after this one, which is fine. Player of the week. Jeric prefers Servic to Nico Williams. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, and this guy's no longer unhappy about squad depth. Okay, even though we haven't signed anyone. But there we go. We will be back at the end of the season to play... Co oh, look. We could do Maribor and Cooper. Or we'll just do the last game, I think, of the season. And then have a quick review of what I think about the squad. My overall initial reaction is that the squad is just too big. Like, all of these players that are under 21, but probably not good enough to play for us. I think we're going to let a lot of contracts expire. If you look here, look how many contracts we've got. I know there's loanees and stuff to go through as well. Two loanees are both going to expire, but that is a lot of players. And a lot of them that aren't very good or have already reached their potential. So, it's going to be interesting. So, if we also look in the under-19s in the squad here uh, and sort by age... So if we do that, like ignoring the people that are out on loan, all these 19 years, that's another one, two, three, four, five people that are going to come up into the first team, which is just too many when you think about the squad we already have and the size of it. So, yeah, expect a big, big clear out. But we'll be back for the last game of the season to take on Koopa, um, and then we'll be evaluating the squad and seeing how it goes. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Leave a like if you're enjoying it. It's the best way to show that you're enjoying the series, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.